Today I will show you how to make this color correction with only two effects. Yo, hello, it's Povika from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll want to do is press Ctrl to white to make a new adjustment layer, or you can actually just add this effect on top of your clip instantly, but I'm just gonna add this on top of everything. And the first effect you'll want to add is S Film Effect. Now, as you can see, this effect does require the Sapphire plugin. Uh, so for this tutorial, you actually need the Sapphire plugin and the Deep Glow plugin, but I'm gonna show you right now what you can do with this S Film Effect. So here here, I like to go and change the neg film. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, you can change this to whatever you want and really mess around on your clips a lot. But what I found to work on at least this clip is to go to 5279 uh, Kodak. And on print film, I just keep it like that. And I like to make the blur amount somewhere from 1 to 3. So I like to make it to 2 here. But you can make it whatever. Like, guys, really mess around here a lot. And I like to make the input gamma quite higher to like 2.92. Uh, for some clips, this is a bit too high. I'm not gonna lie. So for some clips, I like to make this to like 2.6, sometimes even 2.4 because the contrast is gonna get really high. And I also like to change the neg exposure. So here I like to make the neg exposure to 0.96. So you'll start to see it this. So this is how it looked before and now after. Like already a huge improvement. Uh, I really think it looks dope here. And I think that's it for the S film effect. And now the last effect we'll add is deep glow. This is another plugin here. So as you can see, the exposure is quite high right now so we can like lower it so i'm gonna make it to 0 0.2 uh you can lower it even more because you see it is kind of bright right now so you can make it sometimes i like to make it to even like 0 0.1 or around there you know it doesn't need to be this high as 0 0.2 for some clips this is way too high but for this clip i think it looks really cool like this and just look how it looks on other clips like this how it looked before and after uh for some clips Let's see, looks really cool on this one. For this one, I would probably make this to like 0 0.14 or something. And I would go to input gamma and I would make it to like 2.6. So yeah, you see, you need to adjust those two settings a bit for every clip, but I'm just gonna undo them and I'm gonna save this as a preset. These settings right here that I have work usually. So if you want to save this as a preset, so you won't need to make this ever again, you can press on one of the effects, press control A, and it will select both effects. And now let's go to animation, save animation preset. Reset. and here you can name this like uh, cc maybe no let's name it to cc2 effects and press save whenever you want to add it you'll just be able to go to effects and presets and type cc with uh, two effects or whatever we named it i don't remember cc2 effects and just take it and drop it and that's actually it remember to mess around a lot with this effect and also guys i want to tell you that for the halloween season i have updated my opium presets pack which is one of the best packs out there for halloween style and for those can cars in music videos if you have already the pack, then make sure to download the update. It should automatically send you out the files. If you guys want to check out the Opium Presets pack for yourself, then I have a $5 discount code, which is called Povikas. If you use it, you will get $5 off on the Opium Presets pack. But if you want to add some of the Opium Presets pack effects here, for example, you would just need to type here, OPM. And if you have the pack, you can scroll down and you will see this amount of presets. Actually, over 50, I think, in presets. So let's say I want to add Opium 13v3 on top of here. And this is uh, a bit too bright, I'm not gonna lie, but let's go to some other clips. Uh, I know this works very well as a formal look. This looks very cool as a formal look. I would probably recommend to lower down the deep glow setting here to like 0 0.05 uh, just to see something, but this is how it looks with the effects. Uh, that is a huge difference. This effect works very well with the color correction we just made. Plenty more of these work so well with this color correction. And yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions or any any suggestions for other videos please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya